There were two cars done in 79. They're quite expensive. They sold one to a wealthy enthusiast that was excited to be the first one. The other one apparently had stayed in the hands of Guanxi. But things started to change a lot in the world then. There was oil embargoes, issues with money, and spending that much money on a car like that at the time was difficult. There was a third prototype made a little later, which was powered by a Buick V6. And I know this because I believe that is the one we had, the Genius Garage now has. In the 90s, the family wanted updates it. And it now has an Oldsmobile V8 automatic with fully updated gauges to that time. So it actually, the lineage went along with it. And that's how the car sits now. It was never left outside to rot or anything. It's been sitting for a long, long time, covered in dust, just as the barn find you'd find. Some of the upholstery, which has really cool Recaro seats and a cool white and blue corduroy interior. Still looks nice, but it's going to have to be carefully taken off, cleaned nicely, and then re-glued because the glues, things are sagging and whatnot.